Hi guys, my name is Dumi Mata and welcome to the Catch-Up Sessions with Trace, the Womanda edition. Now in celebration of Women's Month, I'll be sitting down and chatting with amazing talent. What do you think about our fans? Hi Gia, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. Welcome to Trace and happy Women's Month. Listen, this is our month. This is all about, girl. You know, we got to do what we got to do. Exactly. Get these bags, get these checks. Absolutely. Now is the time, dude. I think if there was ever a time, now is that time. So, uh, my name is Kia Zawadi. I'm a radio presenter. I host two shows on YFM, uh, The Mixed Capital, and also Late Nights with Kia Zawadi. And then beyond that, I'm also an actress and singer and songwriter. That's really dope, bro. Yeah. That's a lot. How, how do you how do you balance everything that you're doing? Honestly, I'm learning every single day. I don't want to lie to you. Some days I sleep, some days I don't. But I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Like, for example, also before this, um, I got about like three hours of sleep or so just because work finishes so late. Um, but honestly, it's the hunger mm. that keeps me going, to mm. be honest with you. What inspired you to do what you're doing? Like, do, did you like see someone doing it and you're like, you know what, I feel like that's really dope or has it always been a passion of yours to present and to just... Okay, so um, I remember once asking my dad, how much do radio presenters make? Mm -hmm. Because at that time, you know, your parents are just like, do whatever makes you money. If you're gonna make money, then you go into that. So be a doctor, be an engineer, yeah. you know what I mean? And I remember asking him, how much do radio presenters make? And he said, no, no, actually, they actually do well. And I said, okay, great. And then after that, I ended up studying economics and I did all these business things. Um, but then I bumped into campus radio while I was in varsity. And I remember from my first show, from the first time I put that on button on, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I figured it out. This is now what I want to do. And I from there, exactly, literally I fell in love. Yeah. So at that point, it was just about being intentional with every single show, mm -hmm. every single link, every single thing that I do. Mm -hmm. um, so to say something outside inspires me would feel very, I don't know, I feel like it almost like, it's that feeling inside of me that inspired me. Mm -hmm. You know, that feeling when you just, when you just know, okay, this is what I should be doing. That's what kept me going, really. YFM is such a big and very legendary brand. How was it like just joining the team and how has the experience been so far? Honestly, it was a dream to begin with. I think even starting off there because I remember even walking in before my interview, um, just looking around and looking at all these posters and I was like, okay, cool. We're going to be on one of these posters. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Um, and if anything, I've enjoyed it so much. You know, YFM really... I feel like me and YFM are like this, mm -hmm. literally, because YFM was, uh, it started in 1997. Mm -hmm. I was still born in 97. So I literally grew up with YFM, yeah. listening to it before I could even speak. Yeah. So really, it's it's been awesome. I love it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So you did mention earlier when we were having a chat that you are, you have a whole female a team. Yeah. You have DJ Fei Fei, you have DJ Legendary Crisp in your show. How has that experience been working with women? Honestly, it's crazy to think that we're the first to even do this, you know, mm. in 2020. It's mm. like, we should be having more shows like this. Mm. Um, but I'm grateful that I'm the pioneer for that. Um, it's honestly been, it's been awesome. There's a lot of female DJs who are really on the, on the come up. Yeah. And uh, they really, they just want that exposure. They want to be noticed. Mm. Um, they just want that platform just to have a voice. So really, it's been awesome. I mean, Legendary Crisp, DJ Fei Fei, yeah. DJ Candy, yeah. they are amazing at what they do. So it's just, it's been awesome. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So COVID happened this year. Yeah. You didn't see it coming. <laughs> a lot of things have been happening throughout the year. How are you taking things? Like how, how has this experience been and what has it taught you? You know what? I think a lot of us are trying to look at COVID as when is this going to end? Mm. Or as soon as COVID ends, I'm mm. going to do this. But honestly, we need to take it day by day. Yeah. We need to take it day by day because we don't know if the vaccine is going to come tomorrow. We don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. Really, yeah. the only person who knows is God. So, really, it's just a matter of taking it day by day, and that's all I've been doing. You know, how can I make sure that I'm good today, and then tomorrow, how can I make sure that I'm good in that day? I think during this pandemic, there's been um, the rise of the gender-based violence. Uh, 
movement and activist, yeah. activism. Yeah. What have you done as a as a personality mm. to promote that as a woman? Mm. Are you speaking to women around your circle about these things? Are you talking to your male friends about these things? Mm. What have you been doing? Mm. You know what? It's so important. I like what you said that. Um, have you been talking to your male friends mm, about this? Because it's mm. so important that they're also accountable yeah, and they hold yeah. their friends accountable. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm someone who has a lot of male friends. Mm. Um, so I'm constantly having conversations like this with them and saying, listen, if you see something, do something. Don't just be passive and let your friends, you know, continue on in that, in that gender-based violence movement like there needs to be change and i think also for women it's also about empowering them as well and that's mm -hmm. something that i definitely try to do not only on the mixed capital mm -hmm. um but also beyond um whether that's my social media lives whether that's me talking to my closest friends my family mm -hmm. um it's so important that you just you know i don't know i guess show them that um that, <laughs> You're strong, mm. you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of the gender-based violence, um, um, a lot of what happens from there, mm. um, and the reason why women can't leave could maybe be, you know, the whole thing of being dependent. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, no, but I can't leave because mm. there's so much, you know, that that's that's depending on, yeah. on, on this relationship or whatever. But, you know, the mixed capital is really one way of showing women that, listen, you are good on your own, if yeah. not even better. You can do it on your own. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm. So how do you try to um, engage with your listeners about these issues? Do you actually speak about them? Um, are you like having other females on the show to, mm. to speak about these things? Um, so The Mix Capital is really a show that uh, it's a music show. Okay. So there isn't necessarily that much room to talk about, you know, gender-based mm -hmm. violence and what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely try to do that on my personal platforms mm -hmm. as well. Because what happens is that people listen to the show mm -hmm. and they wonder, oh, who's Kia Zawadi? Yeah. Check out the socials. And then on my socials, we can also have those conversations. Mm -hmm. You know, people can really open up because sometimes maybe people don't want to open up on mm -hmm. radio because mm -hmm. it's such a public um, platform, yeah. you know. But really when you're on social media, it's a little bit more personal. Yeah. Um, so it allows that room for people to really open up and you know just chat in terms of like your music selections uh do you like do you like do you talk to like dj candy and legendary chris about like what's the direction you're taking with the show or is it just like what they're doing on the side so really it's all up to them they mm -hmm. can decide you know whatever it is that they want to play however mm -hmm. they feel that saturday night um, they just rock to that and we can rock to it as well. So they all have different genres. Um, so Legendary Crisp starts off with Amabiano and mm -hmm. then we have DJ Candy mm -hmm. uh, who goes in with house and sometimes Afro tech. So also for her, it's just how is she feeling mm -hmm. um, that particular day? And then um, the third hour is for DJ Feife and she does hip hop and R&B. Mm -hmm. And then final hour, we actually give it to a guest DJ. So we allow women to send in mixes and if they feel like they have what it takes, they send it through and they could be the next DJ on the mix capital. Wow, that's really dope. Yeah. That's really innovative because, you know, we don't find a lot of female, like, plat like DJs. Yeah. You know? And also there's a stigma around women that we don't really want to see each other win. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that's really beautiful. Yeah. I think it's so important that us as women just stand together, mm. especially right now mm. in 2020. Mm. And um, really also more than that, we just want to get rid of the female DJ tag. Yeah. We're DJs before we're female. Because mm. for some odd reason, when you say female DJ, you're seen as less mm. or you're seen as weaker and, and you're not as good as the male counterpart. Yeah, but yeah. we're just as good, if not even better. And that's what we want to you know, present on the show. All right. So your career just started. Mm. Um, it's very new. Yeah. Um, so what has been the most memorable moment so far in your career? Um, wow. I think the most memorable moment would definitely have to be getting YFM to even start with. Mm. Um, because that was really one of those things where I was just getting rejected here and there mm. and there and sending through demos, you know what I mean? But it was so important for me to realize that, you know, that rejection wasn't necessarily an end yeah right but it was more like okay how can we find another way of getting to plan a yeah because that's what we want you know i don't really believe in plan b's mm. so um it was just a matter of okay cool this way is not working let's try this way let's try this way but we've got to get over there so really getting yfm was honestly um such a dream 
what was your like motivation mm. to do to get that to get YFM yes honestly because it just it's in line with me and with what I do and with my brand I mean like I've mentioned I grew up listening to YFM mm. um so really it was one of those things where it was like listen YFM is gonna take me or YFM is gonna take me there's no other option you know yeah so during those uh times of rejection mm. how were you dealing with that mm. you know because most people when you get rejected it's like it's a final answer it's yeah. like oh it's a no so yeah. i'm not gonna go back and try that again but how did what what gave you so much uh, motivation to go for what you want mm. you know what honestly i pray a lot mm. so it was really one of those things where i just told myself listen this is something that i pray for and mm. i believe i'm gonna get it i've mm. had dreams that I'm gonna get it. So nothing was gonna stop me from actually getting it. Like regardless of all the other radio stations who were like, oh, okay, we'll do this. We'll put you on the waiting list, we'll do this. I'm like, okay, fine. But why them is gonna take me? They're gonna take me, you know. And you prayed on it and it happened. Exactly. That's so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank you. You are amazing. Thank you, Dumi, for having me. This was awesome. All right. Um, you know what? Women, you are magnificent, you are powerful on your own. You don't need anybody else to do what it is that you want to do. You can do it by yourself and even better than men. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs>